it's Sunday, and that means it's time for another video blog, or whatever this walkthrough is. Not sure if the microphone can pick it up, but in the background, instead of hearing traffic noises, there is a practice or game going on at the middle school across the lake. So we're able to hear whistles and kids and crowds shouting at each other. front door and we have a new addition. We have closets. We have the front door closet that's been framed in and the bathroom, the half bath to keep people out of the master bath or having to go upstairs. And lots of interior framing so I'm going to pan all the way up so you'll be able to see what the ceiling looks like. That's about how high the ceiling is going to be. It's going to come down like a half inch. I'm going straight up overhead at this point. And then back down again. Turning to face the future dining room. Big entrance going into it. wall that will get filled in when the garage shows up, looking out the dining room window. Going into the master suite. Looking out the front window. Going up, there's going to be an octagonal ceiling, or raised ceiling. You can see how they've done the framing for it. Looking down at the thirsty dog, and we have a closet. We now have a closet filled in. It's going to have a door, because dogs, and you don't want dogs going into closets and eating shoes and emptying laundry baskets. We also have the bathroom, showers going here, window looking out, toilet will be going in there someplace, looking out the jacuzzi window, and then the double sink so that Trish stops arguing with me about my trying to take up her space. I'm going to pan up on the ceiling again. You can see some of the work that they've done to get the angling of the roof line and how high the ceilings are going to be. That's one reason why we're going to have a fan in the bedroom, a ceiling fan, and then two ceiling fans in the great room in the hallway. So cutting through the great room again, looking out the picture window. We found out that the people who were planning on buying the house over there are not going to be buying it anymore. So Mike has put, put it up for a for sale sign. Great New England fall foliage view. Looking into the kitchen. Turning 
the stairway looking back down out the front door. You can see here, backing up, the bathroom getting sticking way out into the middle of the living room, taking up all of the space that would otherwise be. The wood stove is going to be about there, located between where the broom is and the black thing on the floor. And I'm going to pan up. There's been work done below, and there's going to be work done up here to where the exhaust pipe is going to be. So somewhere around there. And again, I'll pan so you can see the architectural work in the ceiling here. Down to the picture windows. And we're going to take a sneak peek looking at the guest bedroom up on the second floor. The thing there. The room above the dining room is going to be my office. The stairway up. This is going to be the actual risers, the, or the, the part going up is, is permanent. The stuff you step on, the wooden slats, they're going to get replaced out, pulled out in the room, replaced with the hardwood hickory in a couple weeks or months when things are finally set up. So turning, going into the Carl office. Access to the ceiling, to the attic roof, will be in this part of the house. Looking outside here. The doorway to open up to Trish's room. Trish is going to have one of those frilly feminine things. She's going to have a closet and a door. And you can look down and see the narrow passageway that she's going to have to her second window out the back and whatnot. You can see the attic crawl space, which we won't need for storage until the basement gets finished off with plenty of storage. It's okay, Duran. Look at the view out her main window. She took measurements. The bathroom, the upstairs half bath. I have no idea why they have the extra thing in here, but I'm not that particularly concerned about this part of the house. Looking out the windows here. And the guest bedroom. Once again, no children, just guests. Here's a good look out of the back of the house. The school, middle school is off in that direction. You can see how much higher up we are than the neighbor's house. Septic field. Hope you've enjoyed this video walkthrough.